Leadership have returned this year again after their very successful campaign in 2020 to continue the work of reducing the loading on the beaches and to support the community in, in that work. Our cleanup mission this year at COCUS has involved heading out to multiple islands to do cleanup. So we returned to South Island, Home Island, we've been at West Island and also at Direction Island. And those are the islands that we've identified that really need our help and that really have been impacted by plastic pollution. Cocos is one of the most beautiful places in the world and it just has so much plastic, it's everywhere. It washes in with every high tide. There's some places where the beach is completely covered. It makes me feel like we have a lot of work to do all together. We can't do it alone. It's everybody. You come to such a paradise and you don't expect to see the amount of debris that is here. You picture eyes that it is pristine beaches, blue skies, blue waters, so yeah. It is a little bit overwhelming, yes. You can see why the community here may be overwhelmed by the plastic pollution. It would be heartbreaking to pick up rubbish and then go back the next day and have to pick it all up again and, you know, that cycle continues. Here on COCUS we've seen firsthand the impacts of plastic on marine life. It's really easy for us when we're on land to see that here. And the little hermit crabs, they're absolutely adorable, but they are navigating themselves around huge amounts of plastic. It's very, very sad to see. And here we've even seen, you know, a beautiful little hermit crab. Um, instead of using a shell, they're using, you know, the top of a deodorant bottle. And that's just really the tip of the iceberg about how plastic's impacting marine life. The amount of rope we found, um is quite shocking. Huge amounts of ropes, uh, all entangled in around rocks, uh, buried in sand. They're tied around trees, they're tied around tree trunks, tree roots. They're all entwined with each other. Some you look at and you think, oh no, this is gonna be awful. And one or two of you or three of you can just pull it straight out of the sand. Others that you think are gonna be easy can take an hour or more cutting with an angle grinder, digging, moving rocks and that is just backbreaking. It's horrible work and it's so tiring. And then when you get it out, if it's a big rope or net, you then got to lug it down the beach, load it in the boat, manhandle maybe three, four hundred kilos of rope or net. And then we had to take them all across the lagoon, many trips across the lagoon, offload them from the kayaks onto the back of a ute, take them back to be counted and sorted. So it's really labour intensive and, and takes a long time and, and it's very tiring work. Once they are in the ocean, they really are death traps to marine life. You know, turtles get stuck in them, can't get up to breathe, fish will be stuck in them. But not only that, they're also at the same time shedding thousands and thousands of fibres. And you see that when you pull the ropes up. They've degraded by the UV light, by the water, by wave action. They really need to be removed, but disposing of them is a global issue. Coming here and doing a clean up and leaving the beach is fairly pristine is very rewarding. And going back over the beach after the Sea Shepherd team have been through and just looking and saying that's a nice clean beach is, is, is very gratifying and it's, it's very pleasing. This time around we've covered more ground than we did last year and that can be seen as like something that's really successful that we've covered more ground but what it's also really meant is that what we found is that some of the loading on the beaches has actually been less so that's a really positive story that we took off so much rubbish and so much ocean plastic last year and now that we've returned, the loading has actually reduced and that's a really great outcome, not just for the COCUS community but very importantly to marine life. 
the industry who produces the plastic should be responsible as to what they produce. They should produce items that are designed well, can be recycled easily, can be not used just for a few minutes. You know, those, those sort of items need to stop altogether. Beach cleanups remove the rubbish and are giving marine life a chance, making the area safer for them. But they're not the only solution and they're not a long-term solution. If we're going to solve the plastic pollution problem, it's going to need accountability and it's going to need cooperation.